and welcome to my channel April Flower Arts. I am Tushara. Today I am going to share with you my recipe for a mixed vegetable curry in pav bhaji masala style. Pav bhaji is a popular Indian street food. Pav is an Indian bun and bhaji is a spicy vegetable curry that goes with it. So let's see what are the ingredients we need for that. 2 cups of boiled potatoes, 1 cup of boiled carrots. This becomes the base of the gravy. You can do it only with potatoes alone. 3 cups of finely chopped onions and some vegetables such as 1.5 cups of chopped tomatoes, a cup of chopped bell peppers, 2 cups of mixed vegetables. Here I mainly have some green beans, carrots, peas. You can take any of these vegetables. You may also add cauliflowers along with this. Ginger and garlic paste, whole spices such as a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a bay leaf, 1 inch piece of cinnamon, 5 to 6 cloves, quarter teaspoon of fennel seeds or somph, a green cardamom. Instead of this, you can use ready made pavaji masala powder, some ground spices such as turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chili powder, and garam masala powder, 2 tablespoons of butter. So let's start with the preparation. For that I have around 2 tablespoons of oil heating up in a pan. Into that I'll add a tablespoon of butter as well but that's optional. So as soon as the butter melts we'll add the chopped onions and half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll saute the onions until they are a little soft. So when the onions soften we'll add a tablespoon of garlic paste and half a tablespoon of ginger paste. We'll saute this until the raw smell is gone. Alright, the raw smell of ginger and garlic is gone. Next, we'll add a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Make sure that the heat is now turned to minimum. A teaspoon of red chili powder or asparagus taste. A teaspoon of coriander powder. And a teaspoon of garam masala powder. This is optional. So, we'll quickly saute these spices. Just for a few seconds. Next, we'll add all the chopped vegetables except for the tomatoes. A little salt for the vegetables. So, we'll saute these vegetables along with the onions for about 2 minutes over medium to high heat. Next, we'll add the tomatoes and we'll let the tomatoes cook until they are completely mashed. Alright, the tomatoes are almost completely mashed. So, now we'll add around 2 cups of water. Here, I've taken the stock that is the water left behind after boiling potatoes and carrots so you may add plain water as well around 2 cups so now we'll cover and let the vegetables cook in the water for about uh, 4 to 5 minutes so while the vegetables are cooking in a small pan we'll dry roast the whole spices roast it over medium heat for about a minute or two so we'll now crush it or blend it into a fine powder Alright, the vegetables have been cooking for about 4 minutes now. At this point, we'll add the mashed carrots and potatoes. You can mash them using a potato masher or a fork. You may even use a blender. So, we'll now mix it in. At this point, you may check for salt. And now, we'll simmer it for about 2-3 to three minutes. So, we'll also add the roasted spices which I have crushed into a fine powder. So, you may even add a tablespoon of pavaji masala powder instead or totally skip it for a milder or less spicy version we will also add the remaining butter which, which is about a tablespoon so that gives a nice glaze to the curry I will also add an additional ingredient that is amchur or dry mango powder for a nice tangy flavor this is optional you may even add uh, lime juice instead alright the curry is done I have switched off the stove we will finally garnish it with some finely chopped coriander leaves or cilantro so this is how the vegetable curry in pavaji style looks like. I have kept it fairly thick. You may even dilute it with some more water. I like to serve it with some finely chopped raw onions on the top. It gives a very nice crunch and freshness. Lemon veg. You can squeeze it if you want more tangy flavor. It is traditionally served with pav that is the Indian buns. Here I have some homemade buns. You may even serve it with chapati, puri or naan or any other bread or even buttered toast. Hope you liked my recipe for mixed vegetable curry in pavaji masala style. Do give it a try and post your feedback. You can also follow me on social media. The links will be in the description box below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And do subscribe to my channel if you already have it. Until next time, it's bye from me. Thanks for watching.